Fellas, oops, I suddenly realized that I missed saying hello, fellas, so much. Well, guess who's back in the party? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? I know it's been a long, long time, but it's time to rise from our ashes like a phoenix. So, what do you think? I think the time has come. Well, our valuable journey to rediscover the cheap treasures of Rachel Chum continues. This time to make another target by the rock stars of Fumetti Comic. Ah, yuck! Yeah, I'm talking about Zagor Tenai. If you are ready to this wonderful journey, well, you better equip your axes immediately. First off, Let's remember how the story began. Let's go back to early 60s. I mean, really, really early first days of 60s. Yeah, directly 1961. When legendary creators Sergio Bonelli and Galliano Ferri created a new legend. It was in such a brilliant period that the first Sugar comic was born. The years when the Italian comic book school for Metti culture becomes more eclectic. In such a period, Mr. Bonelli created a brand new concept in Italy. Some stock series as Zagor, Martin Meister, Tex Wilder, Nathan Never, and in the following years, Dylan Dog enriched this powerful cult, obviously. Well, Turkey was one of the countries where these comics published by Bonelli were followed closely. I'm talking about hundreds of thousands of Bonelli fans here. Well, seriously. It's also probably the country with the largest Zagor fan base in the world. I'm talking about a country where hundreds of thousands of Zagor fascicles have been sold seriously. Well, therefore, it's not abnormal that the first and only live-action Zagor movies in the world came out of Turkey. Yeah, I'm talking about Turkish Zagor movies. Well, by the way, we can talk about Italian ones, can we? <laughs> Well, welcome back my dear friends and our precious movies today are Turkish Zagor Cults. Exactly 10 years after the first Zagor comic fascicle was published, a handful of adventurous producers in Turkey decided to shoot a live-action Zagor movie. While a school of comic book adaptations has not yet been established in the world popular cinematic arena, Turkish low budget filmmaker team named Yerli Film decided to shoot these movies with the lowest budgets. Yeah, it's called exactly Don Quixotism. Actually, one year ago, in 1970, different Zagor movie written and directed by Mehmet Aslan was brought to life silently, but Zagor Tenai played separately by Jihangir Ghaffari and Yumas Köksal resembled the western star in an image. However, the audience wanted to see real Zagor Tenai in screen. At the point, Nissan Hancher, known for his action movies, provided the sold after blood and energy. Two different Zagor movies were released in 1971, Zagor, Black Scourge and Zagor, Dark Corsair's Treasures. Although both were low bash productions, they managed to satisfy major of Zagor fans, but unfortunately, they were shown in very few movie theaters. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Zagor looks like familiar, doesn't it? Wait a minute, we know him. The name that Turkey's Ryan Reynolds in comic book adaptations, Levan Chucker. Okay, I won't make this analogy for the third time. Well, I promise. At the same time, Chucker would appear in productions such as Turkish Batman, Crazy Girl and Free Superman, Free Superman at the Olympic Games, and Flying Man. 
Zagor movies enable Checker to show his acrobatic skills. In this way, in Yeshilcham culture, especially when it comes to action movies, his way has been widened and clear. After all, all those broken bones during the shoot without a stuntman were also normal in Yeshilcham culture. Zagor movies are really good examples of demonstrating cheap metals in striking way. It's an important part of the tradition of creating action scenes with near-zero budgets. It definitely deserves prize, especially for its western aesthetic created with some material extracted from the producer's office. That's what I call creativity. Several movies which have been at the top of the list of lost movies for many many years and came out of the archive of legendary Greek cinephile Vasilis Baronis. Thanks to Honor Film, in 2010 they became a treasure by meeting the audience with their clean copies. Evet, Ferri, Zagor'un babası. İtalya'da meşhur. Zagor Türkiye'de de çok sevildi. En sevilen çizgi roman kahramanı. Ee, bu Mr. Noda da Feri ile paslaşıyorduk. Mesela ben umiyetle Feri'nin kapaklarını alıp ilustrasyon hale getiriyordum. Feri de benim kapakları kendi kapaklarını kullanıyordu. Of course, when talking about Zagor's adventure in Turkey, it's impossible not to mention the legend of Aslan Şükür. By the way, I'm extremely lucky to have had a chance to make a documentary of this legendary illustration a few years ago. Okay, no more ads, no more ads. Let's return to topic. Television, CFPS, photographer, CFPS. Buna karşı bizim çizdiğimiz kapaklar rengarenk tabi, güzel renkler falan çocuklara çok cazip geliyordu. Ve bizim gençliğimizi renklendiren ressam sanat ediyorlardı sağ olsunlar. Aslan Şükür did not just endear Zagor Tenay to Turkish fanatics with his gorgeous cover illustrations. He also added wonderful colors to people's lives at the time when newspapers, televisions and cinema were in black and white. This image is one of the reasons why Zagor is so popular figure in Turkey. Aslan Şükür added the legendary Greek singer Demi Rousseau's Ahiyak scream to the character as a great inspiration. Anyway, Zagor has survived to this day with his unique charisma for the kites. He is followed by very large fan base in Turkey even today. Monica, sen, sen kazandın Zagor. Well, damn what? Yeshilcham action cinematic genre continued to produce cheap comic book adaptations and westerns for a long long time, but we haven't seen another Zagor movie in the world popular cinematic arena. Well, approaching the end. In this respect, we can say that Turkish Zagor movies are a unique examples of courage. We don't know whether world cinematic history will see any Zagor movies again, but we will continue to evaluate these movies as a valuable avant-garde advance. Well, thank you guys, and yeah, I will see you again. I hope. Goodbye. Görüyorsun bak, hiçbir kötü niyetimiz yok.